We are coming to you from Santiago, Chile, where we want to answer a question that we always, always get. How do you pack in a carry-on for 16 months? The answer is it's not exactly easy. And as we go along, we learn more and more. So we want to share with you the tips and tricks that we've learned over three and a half months of travel. We're going to show you exactly what we pack and how we pack. So this is a normal outfit that I would wear on the plane. Scarf is great to bring on the plane for a little pillow, for a blanket. I always layer. Now I wear two pairs of pants, leggings and Lulu's. Always wear hiking boots. Why do I wear two pairs of pants? Mostly just to save room. Why do I wear my hiking boots? Because you always want to wear the heaviest shoe you have on the plane. I have the Tortuga set out. It's a big backpack, but the great thing about it is that it's still carry-on size. On the outside pocket, I always keep my Grail water bottle. It's a filtered water bottle. We use it everywhere. We never just drink tap water. We always filter it first. So first, I have two great bags for toiletries. Rather than just bringing a Ziploc that's kind of flimsy, it might break. These bags are really great. Now, I stuff this great jacket into the top. This jacket is super wrinkly right now, but it's awesome because it stuffs down into like a tiny, tiny ball. I also always have this windbreaker with me. It's super cute, super colorful. It's from Cotopaxi, and they have them in all different kinds of colors. Check it out. In addition to my hiking boots, I have Vessi sneakers. They are waterproof. Third are Tevis. They're really comfortable and they're really durable. Fourth, I have Toms. Toms are amazing for walking on the streets. You really don't get any blisters or anything. Now I have my packing cubes, which are amazing for keeping everything organized. Rather than just opening up your bag and you have a mess of clothes everywhere, these cubes are lifesavers. First one is my smallest. It keeps my underwear, socks, bras, things like that. Second is for shirts. You don't want to just fold your clothes. You want to roll them up into a tight ball. It saves so much room. So I have three long sleeve shirts in addition to the shirt I was wearing on the plane. Four tank tops, a blouse, two t-shirts. I have one base layer, which is good for when you're hiking and it's freezing at 5 a.m. And then I have two long sleeve kind of sportier shirts for hiking or the gym. My clothes are fairly small, so I'm able to pack them down tight. Maybe you wouldn't need as many long sleeves or tank tops, but one thing I always recommend is layering. You want to have something that you could always shut off or put on. Now for pants. So I lied, I have one more <laughs> button up kind of thing. I packed it in my pants because it didn't fit in the shirts. I have a romper jumpsuit kind of thing. Getting at something like this that you can dress up or dress down is really great. I only have one pair of jeans. I have two pairs of leggings, the one that I'm wearing now, and a second pair. One pair of Adidas kind of jogger pants. These Lulu lemon pants, which are really great because they're active wear, but you could also kind of disguise them as a normal, regular, everyday pant. Just having a basic, simple black dress is really great. They always come in handy. I only have one pair of shorts and these are gym shorts and I'll tell you why. I used to have more pairs of shorts but I had to trade them out when I got my rain pants. Maybe if you're not doing any big kind of treks where you don't know if you're gonna be stuck in a rainstorm, you don't need the rain pants and you can keep one or two pairs of shorts in. On the bottom of my packing cubes, I keep a day bag. You could use this as a purse or a backpack. I have my rain cover for when we're going hiking. Um, you may or may not need this depending on what kind of travel you're doing. And then this is just a good reusable bag for if you go to the grocery store. And I also have this backpack that I use for uh, as a day pack for hikes. It collapses down. In here I have the rest of my socks and bras. I also have a hat, a pair of gloves, four pairs of high Nike socks. I also have a pair of hiking socks that are smelly because I wore them on the plane last night. And I have about three or four small ankle socks. Always have a bathing suit. 
I have about six bras in here, one regular bra, a bralette, and sports bras. That may be different for you. I'm normally always in sports bras, so that's easy for me. As for underwear, my philosophy, fit as many as you can in. You never want to be without underwear. The great thing about the Tortuga is it has a lot of different pockets. In the smaller pocket, I keep miscellaneous items. One, headlamp. All of these pills. Easy things like Tylenol, motion sickness, allergy relief. This is the Rocket Book, which is a reusable notebook that we love. Look into it if you're interested. I have a mini hair straightener with me. I've only used it one time and I'm still carrying it around. I also just have a regular notebook. I have these cold shower face and body wash, uh, body wipes that my friend Gab gave me. It'll be good when we're in Patagonia and maybe we can't get to a shower every single day because we're driving around for a month in our car. This is my baseball hat. I also have this phone case that is waterproof and knee pads. If you're a dancer, you understand why I have these. My filter for the grill. That's just a little present from my mom. No one understands. Oh, here it is. Thought I kind of lost this, but it was, it's been in here. Portable speaker. Probably my favorite part of the Tortuga is the laptop case. So we have locks for our laptop cases. Now everyone's gonna know my password. <laughs> Get away. So this has a separate little pocket for your laptop. I keep all my chargers and my external hard drive in here as well. When you're online for security and they say, take your laptops out, it's super quick. So that pretty much sums it up for the Tortuga. Now I will show you what I have in my personal items. In here, I have a lot of miscellaneous items and also items that if you're on the plane, you want to get to really quick. First, in this pocket, you always want to keep your passport accessible. <laughs> I always keep our GoPro, so if we have something quick that we want to film when we're on the plane or in the airport, it's easy. Sleep mask because I'm a princess. God. Wallet, deodorant, phone charger, book, emergency kit with band-aids and things like that, sunglasses, cards, the little kit that has things like a nail file, nail clipper, small sewing kit, portable charger, earplugs because on the plane people are loud and babies cry, headphones, makeup wipes, and my makeup. So I know for a lot of other people, their makeup bags might be quadruple the size of mine. I don't really wear makeup all that often, so I just have the essentials. If I was at home, I would probably have more things, but for me, this little bag works. And a koozie to keep your beer cold. That's pretty much all for my packing section, and now for Brandon. So, now for my packing guide. This is what I always wear on the plane. I've got a, a Bluffworks t-shirt on it. I've got a pullover on, and then I've got a jacket on the outside. But I also have a pair of shorts underneath. For my feet, I wear hiking socks and my hiking boots. As Aaron said, they take up the most room, so you gotta wear them. I've got a Tortuga bag as well. I've got the Tortuga Outbreaker, which is just a little different from Aaron's model. On the outside, I've got my Grail bottle. In the big pocket is where I've got all my clothes. So this is how nicely it packs down. I keep my liquids at the top so I can easily grab them if I need to pull them out at security. I have my belts just loose in here. I have two packing cubes that have all my clothes in it. One big one, one small one. I've got a similar jacket to Aaron that packs down really nice. It gets very warm. I've got a small backpack. It folds down into this size, but then I can take it on day hikes. I always keep my shoes in some sort of a plastic bag, just in case they get smelly. I've got these sandals. I've got some Nikes. These are my Suaves. They're amazing shoes for travel. They're very easy to slip on and off, and they're incredibly comfortable. I highly recommend you check these out if you're looking for the best travel shoe. My favorite pants in the world, my Bluffwork Chinos. I've got two pairs of them. One is this khaki color, and the other is this nice blue color. If you want to check out Bluffworks clothes, check them out in the description below. I absolutely love Bluffworks and we're actually an affiliate partner with them. For my second packing cube, this is where I have some of my lighter items, my t-shirts and such. Actually on top, I shoved my rain pants, rain jacket, my base layers, one pair of khaki shorts, a bathing suit, and no I'm not a lifeguard, one long sleeve shirt with the coolest brand. Love this shirt, thank you Aileen. My one dress shirt, so if we're going out, 
you know I'm wearing this. This is the Bluffworks Meriden uh, dress shirt. I have a total of seven t-shirts. One I'm wearing, the rest are packed in here. If I really could have my way, I'd have all seven of my shirts be the Bluffworks Threshold t-shirts. They're odor-free, they're great for doing athletic activities. They're really just great, comfortable shirts, so I highly recommend these as well. Beyond that, I've just got random other solid colored shirts that go along well with my other clothes so that I can mix and match them. The only shirt that really stands out is when I'm repping Brooklyn Brewery. So in the bottom of my bag, I've got my trusty North Face hat that I got in Costa Rica for $6. These waterproof gloves. I've got this incredibly useful earth pack bag. It is completely waterproof. It rolls up so you could even put it in the river and it, it, it'll float. It's absolutely amazing. That's everything for the main pocket. Then I've got these small zipper pockets. I'm a very simple man. When I like something, I buy like 10 of them so that that's the only thing I need to wear. For my underwear, I only wear one type of underwear. It's these Adidas Climate Light underwear. They're, they changed my life. If you are interested in trying out the best underwear in the world, get these. They're very cheap on Amazon. I have eight pairs of these that I bring with me, so one pair I'm wearing and seven I have, and that works pretty well. For my socks, I've got two pairs of hiking socks and seven pairs of long black Nike socks. And I could probably use new pairs, so mom, if you're watching this, Christmas. This front pocket on the bag that has simple things like my charger, pens, I leave my passport in here, little medic kit. As Aaron mentioned, one of the best things about Tortuga backpacks is that they've got a nice laptop sleeve here. And mine, I particularly love. It'll zip all the way open and lay flat. And there's also room, I've got my Kindle in here and my notebook, the rocket book, same as Aaron has. External hard drive, little knickknacks here for the computer. That's all for the Tortuga. This is my personal item. It looks small, but this thing holds all of our gear. Inside it, I'm not gonna show you everything, but inside of here, it's got our drone, it's got all of our camera batteries. It's got little knickknacks like my headlamp. It's got different filters for the camera. It's got literally everything we need. Cords, chargers. If you're interested in checking out more of our gear, check out our last behind the scenes video where we looked at our new camera setup, our old camera setup, what we like, what we didn't like. Check it out. The best thing when you're packing is to only pack your essentials. It's an iterative process. It's not perfect yet, but we're still improving. This is how we do it right now. On Sunday, we'll get back to our normal videos where we're traveling around and showing you sites. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Now I will disrobe for the video. <laughs> Gotta wrap the hometown. It's not, really hometown. It's not your hometown. <laughs> yeah. This has been through a lot with me probably use a wash. <laughs> <laughs>